All right, next up, we got a jacket is $125 today. Find the original price if today there's a discount of 30%. So I hope that you recognize right off the bat that it talks about a discount, a percent change here. Now this is important in science classes especially, but obviously with discounts too, is that we have this percent change. This is the one equation that I will give you on your celebration, which is that the final minus the original, original, now that's the change, right? Final minus initial always gives you the change, divided by the original, should give you the percent change over 100. And we've got these numbers, right? We have the final price, that's the price today. Now I know that's the final price because it's asking for the original price. So X here is the original price. And you'll notice that in most of these word problems, I'm gonna go ahead and label uh, what my variable is. You should probably do the same thing. It's a good habit to be in. So X is the original price. The percent change, of course, is this, the discount. And recognize that because it's a discount, it's going down, and so it will be negative 30. All right? So let's go ahead and throw these numbers in. We've got the final, which was 125, minus the original, divided by the original. And that needs to equal the percent change. The percent change, remember, was negative 30 over 100. And here I can just solve. It's a proportion, so cross multiply. That's why we're doing percent change now, because it's a good application of a proportion. We can go 125 minus x times 100, and most of you are getting in the habit of putting that 100 first, which is lovely. It doesn't really matter. And then we go the x times the negative 30, so that's negative 30x there. And so we can solve. Distribute, get rid of those parentheses because they make things difficult. And you can punch this into your calculator if you want. And then 100 times x equals negative 30x. And now we need to get all the x's together. You could add the 30 over. I'm going to go ahead and add the 100 over because I already got all the numbers on the left-hand side. So let's just kind of get all the x's together on the right-hand side. These guys are going to cancel out. I'll be left with 1, 2, 5, 0, 0 equals 100 and then minus 30. So that would be 70x. And then we'll do that 1, 2, 5, 0, 0 and divide it by 70. And that gives us 178.57. And as a reminder, what is that x? Oh. X is ah, the original price, and so that's what the question was asking for. The original price, then, is 178.57. There you go. No problem. That's, the, that's how you work with percent change. All right? Next.